What will I gain from this video? After watching this video, you will know how to identify an abnormal cardiopericardial shadow. The cardiopericardial shadow is abnormal when the gray scale of the cardiopericardial shadow is too white, the size of the cardiopericardial silhouette is enlarged, the shape of the cardiopericardial silhouette is distorted, the position of the cardiopericardial silhouette is shifted, and in special situations when the heart is failing. When we talk about the size of the cardiopericardial silhouette, we usually talk about the cardiothoracic ratio. The cardiothoracic ratio is a relationship between the diameter of the heart and the diameter of the thorax. So how do we measure the cardiothoracic ratio? First, we make sure that the patient is properly centered and is not rotated. Next, we measure the widest diameter of the cardiopericardial silhouette. Next, we measure the widest diameters of the thorax from left to right. The cardiothoracic ratio is the ratio of the diameter of the heart to the diameter of the thorax and should be less than 50 percent. Here are two examples. In both cases the size of the cardiopericardial silhouette in relationship to the diameter of the thorax is greater than 50 percent and is abnormal. There is one exception to the rule, and that is if the patient has a pectus excavatum deformity of the chest. With pectus excavatum, there is a chest deformity, and the sternum lies more posterior than normal. This causes some mass effect on the heart, which is flattened between the sternum and the vertebral bodies. On the PA examination, the heart will look enlarged, but only because of this deformity. The contour of the heart can also be abnormal. Here we have an enlarged cardiothoracic ratio. However, we can identify not one, but two right heart edges. One formed by the right atrium, and the second formed by an enlarged left atrium. The enlarged left atrium can be confirmed on the lateral view, seen as this outpouching from the superior aspect of the cardiac contour. In this case, we see an abnormal left contour of the heart. Inferiorly, we have the left atrium, then the oracle of the left atrium, and superior to this, we have the pulmonary outflow tract. In this case, the pulmonary outflow tract is enlarged. Enlargement of this pulmonary outflow tract can be seen sometimes as a normal variant, especially in young teenage females. But in this case, we also see enlargement of the pulmonary arteries, and this is a case of pulmonary hypertension. In this case, we see an abnormal contour on the right. Instead of only having the superior vena cava superiorly, we see an additional contour, and this is caused by a right-sided aortic arch, which represents a normal variant in this patient. In this case, the right heart border is abnormal, and this is because of a dilated ascending aorta, which is giving this contour on the right that is normally not identified. In this case, we have an abnormal left contour of the heart. There is a focal bulge in the contour. We can also identify curvilinear calcification, both on the PA and the lateral X-ray and the abnormality is caused by a aneurysm of the left ventricle. In these cases, we have abnormal position of the heart. In this case, the abnormal position is caused by previous pneumonectomy and displacement of the mediastinal structures to the side of the surgery. In this case, we have a tension pneumothorax and collapse of the entire right lung and shift of the mediastinal structures to the left, including the heart. In this case, we have complete reversal of the cardiac shadow called dextrocardia. In this case, the right hemidiaphragm is higher than the left because of normal position of the anatomical structures. And in this case, we have dextrocardia, but we have elevation of the left hemidiaphragm because this patient has complete situs inversus. So in summary, when suspecting a cardiac or pericardial abnormality, look for change in size of the heart, change in shape of the heart, look for abnormal contours of the heart, 
and look for abnormal calcification.